Hello, everybody. This is Randy and my friend Lisa. Um, Lisa, we were here in our kitchen several months ago when, before we started this project. And it looks a lot different now, as you can see. And this is your first time seeing it in person. Uh, so what do you think? I absolutely love it. And just the details that they did, we can walk around just for a second and show the details like the wood accents with the custom wood, the shells. Everything's so much lighter and brighter. I don't know if you remember, and Randy will show pictures of how dark and dated this house was. <laughs> and he really wanted to do the video to show when you're looking at houses. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we've got clients all the time who look at older homes, and one of the things they say is, I hate the kitchen because it's dated and because it doesn't have certain features that people may be looking for. But all that can be changed. Exactly. And it can be changed over time. We just chose to do it all at one time. We waited 40 years for this to do this, but you can do things over time. So Lisa, talk about the, the things that people can do that make such a dramatic difference, like what we did here with four. And the yeah, changing the four was really good. I think adding recessed lights, because it's so much brighter in here now than the lights you used to have. I'm um, adding more light with the larger window. That was a really good thing. And just using light colors on countertops. And I think there was like cool little gadgets for the cabinets and stuff for appliances and stuff. But that was really cool, double ovens and the um the display over here is really um the kicker for me that i love when the accent color and the shell yeah so uh, in the video you may see pictures of our dining room table that has not been updated yet but uh, we're getting there yeah you have the little drop off spot right when you come in from the garage so that's convenient easy out of the way yeah well, what we had in mind for this was a place to display special things and then also you have a charging station key drop mail drop so that that kind of stuff has a home and i think that's one of the things that we learned over the years it's important to have designated spaces for exactly. certain things right yep yeah. yeah. And so as a result of that, one of the things that we did was created different stations. This is our, the Chris's baking station. And so everything that she has to use for specialty uh, appliances for baking and such are in here. But one of her favorite things, but not her most favorite thing, is this garage or mixer. And it just clicks into place. It then stores away afterwards, so she never has to pick it up. It doesn't have to stay out on the counter and take up space. And it really doesn't take up much space. You have to get the cabinet right there. But then she's got all of her baking supplies right here. So having space for a designated area, this has been really great. And then our coffee station over here. Uh, so we've got a designated place for keeping mugs and coffee pot and all of that. So. Well, speaking of, you said that was her second favorite. What is your first favorite? Her first favorite is this gas stove. Okay, the gas. Yeah. And, and it was a big change and something we were a little scared of because we had never used gas before, but she absolutely loves that. Uh, so as you can see, this was floor to ceiling, wall to wall renovation, right? Yes, yeah. You know. Very dated, very brown, very dark. And very wallpapery. Yeah. We would call it, remember the wallpaper or not, but there's a lot of wallpaper in here. <laughs> uh, so, this is a little old trend, would you say? This is very much so. But, I mean, it's not just trendy, it'll go out in 10 years. This is just kind of timeless trend with the white on white and the wood accents. And yeah, this will be timeless. Yeah. So, good thumbs up. I oh, very much the two. Oh, that's not. Who was your designer? Yeah, our designer was uh, Lorraine Nicholson Collins, and her business is Specialty Interiors. We've used her in the past for other projects at this house, but uh, she just really, really outdid herself, and we would recommend her ten times over. She was just excellent. So yeah. Yeah, your color choices, light fixtures, everything is vital and affordable. So anyway, for our clients, when you're looking at upgrading a home uh, there is hope you don't have to do it all at one time you don't have to do it today in fact right now may not be the best time we learned because there are supply chain challenges there's labor challenges 
and getting things done quickly can be hard, but you've been working on some small projects that you're involved I'm happy. I just do a small, just a backsplash in the kitchen if you don't have that to add so much character. Um, change out your vanity in the bathroom. That's easy fix. Um, you don't have to gut cabinets and get all new ones. You can paint what you have and and that'll really freshen everything up too. Yeah, yeah. So talk with a professional. We can tell you what we think about things, of course, but uh -huh. you, you, I really want to talk to a professional and get their opinion on it. But the point is something can be done about things that are dated always. So anyway, that's my story. And Lisa, thank you for your critique of everything. Yeah, that means a lot to us. Thank you.